Hi fans, my name is George. I'm the Exhibit Relations Manager here at Fan Expo, and I love comics. I've loved comic books since I was a kid, and I've worked around comic books since I was 14 years old, and that's what I'm here to talk to you about, is comic books. With Loki about to hit your TV screens, here's some comic background you might be interested in. Now, Loki started all that avenging. Way back in Avengers issue number one, Loki tricks the Hulk into thinking the Avengers are bad and need to be destroyed. And of course, the Avengers think the Hulk is bad. So lots of superhero fighting happens, and then the Avengers convince the Hulk that no, Loki's bad. So, no Loki, no reason for Earth's mightiest heroes to band together to defeat the trickster god, Asgard Assemble. Okay, now this is one of my absolute favorites. Thor 364 to 366, Loki has so many schemes to take over Asgard, blow it up, kill Thor, replace Odin, everything he could possibly think of. But this time, this time he has the perfect plan. Turn his brother Thor into a frog. Now, of course, it doesn't really work because Thor bands together the small animal world and attacks Loki and defeats him. But, I mean, it's such a great plan. You would think that it would have just been foolproof. Oh. Now, in Journey into Mystery, 622, Fear Itself was part of a big, epic crossover that was going through Marvel at the time. But Loki is dead, yet again. But this time, and here's the key, he's reincarnated as a sulky teenager who spends a lot of time on his phone. Now... Going into it, you think, oh, Kid Loki, that's kind of ridiculous. You know, how is that going to work? But this is some of the, actually the best Loki stuff, where Loki actually starts to grow as a person a little bit. Yeah, I mean, of course it doesn't last, but that's the way the comic books work. But, I mean, when you think about it a lot, Kid Loki, that's some pretty scary stuff. And here's a key issue that might relate back to the TV show. In Thor issue 5 and 6 from 2008, after Loki's death at Ragnarok, yeah, I know, confusing, but no strong IP ever dies. His spirit inhabits the reincarnated body of Thor's one-time love, Lady Sif. Yeah. Looking back, not handled as well as it should have been, maybe a little too Game of Thrones, but it does enter the realm of North Mythos, where Loki's gender, race, and even species has always been fluid. Loki has been both a father and a mother, once even turning into a mare and giving birth to Odin's eight-legged horse, Sleipner, mostly to win a bet. But whether presenting as old, young, male, female, non-binary, Loki is always Loki. Now, those are some key issues of Loki. But really understanding Loki, you have to know that he's a god of mischief. He's a trickster god. He's all over the place. Sometimes he's a good guy, sometimes he's a bad guy. Like in Journey into Mystery, I mentioned previously, Kid Loki actually sacrifices himself to save his mom, who's like his stepmom, because like Thor and him are blood brothers. So he's all over the place. You never know who he's gonna be, when he's gonna be. He is chaotic neutral in every sense of the world. He's all over the place. So Loki always looks after Loki. Keep that in mind. Also check out some cool issues, Thor and Loki Blood Brothers, Loki, Agent of Asgard, and Vote Loki. <laughs> President Loki, how bad could it be? Hey everybody, appreciate you watching. Subscribe, tell me some key issues of Loki that you really, really into, say I know what I'm talking about or that I'm a complete moron, down here, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Thanks for coming.